Here, we're going to explain what are the powers that women have, that God gave them, that exist with Bible verses, and explain very well their great gift that God gave. The Lord created the world, and He created everything in the earth. He created man and woman. Genesis 1 26 through 28 We see male and female were created by God in verse 27. Genesis 1 26 verse 28 Then God said, Let us make mankind in our image, in our likeness, so that they may rule over the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky, over the livestock and all the wild animals and over all creatures that move along the ground so God created mankind in his own image in the image of God he created them male and female he created them God blessed them and said to them, Be fruitful and increase in number. Fill the earth and subdue it. Rule over the fish and the sea and birds in the sky and over every living creature that moves on the ground. But the Lord used the ribs to make the women. That is where they come from. Genesis 2, verse 18 through 24. The Lord God said, It is not good for man to be alone. I will make a helper suitable for him. Now the Lord God had formed out of the ground all the wild animals and all the birds in the sky. He brought them to the man to see what he will name them. And whatever the man called each living creature, that was its name. So the man gave names to all the livestock, the birds in the sky, and all wild animals, but for Adam no suitable helper was found. So the Lord God caused the man to fall into a deep sleep, and while he was sleeping, he took one of the man's ribs, and then closed up the place with flesh. Then the Lord God made a woman from the rib he had taken out of the man, and he brought her to the man. The man said, This is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman, for she was taken out of man. That is why a man leaves his father and mother, and is united to his wife, and they become one flesh. To remember verse 28, fill the earth and subdue it, and rule over the fish and the birds, till the end. Woman and man had both be given authority over fish, birds, and over the earth, and together will to rule it. Women receive commands from the Lord, and love from the Lord. That they rule the world with man. Woman and her powers were given by God. When he created her, God never wanted women and men to suffer. But when they sinned and went to live in the wilderness, man and woman were naked and lived in sin. What are the powers God gave to women when they traveled into the desert? What did God give woman to defend itself? and use the powers God gave to women in those times. 
did they survive when the rule of the strongest or by living by the point of the sword or for an eye for an eye how did women survive all those times and what was their story yes there were women who were brave and faithful to the Lord there was Sarah Rebecca Hagar and other women in those times but in those hard times they did survive serving the Lord and did the plan of God like Hagar who is mother of the Arab nations God blessed her and protected her Genesis chapter 17 verse 7 through 14 and chapter 16 verse 10 only God sent angels to save Hagar and blessed she is and her son and saved them Hagar was given a blessing the same as Abraham which is to have a descendancy so many like Abraham had even those times God made man equal to woman and woman equal by giving the same blessing Abraham had but not only Abraham but Sarah had the blessing because she was part of the marriage of Abraham also Sarah was equal to Abraham both of them talked to God Genesis chapter 18 verse 10 to 15 here Abraham and Sarah were equal because both talked to God God talked to Abraham and told she were gonna be God talked to Abraham and told she was gonna be pregnant and have a child Sarah was treated as an equal that's why beside Abraham Sarah was treated equal by other men equal besides Abraham like Abimelech Genesis 20 verse 14 Abimelech did wrong but still even in those times she did equal things and gave something fair to Sarah and in the verse said that she got vindicated has woman received or was higher than man before the Mosaic law we will see in Genesis 24 verse 6 through 8 you can read that you see here God gave a lady the power to decide to go or not to go Rebecca she was given a decision and God says in the verse that he let the lady decide the young lady and this is just showing that God let a woman have an option a decision and God respected her decision God gave something that a woman have and men didn't because man will obey always God but to a lady God let her decide this shows women were powerful and were equal and had higher status than man. Abraham was taught and ordered by God. And Rebecca had an option. You will also see in Genesis 24 verse 57. Another verse that another verse that shows that Rebecca had a choice. Woman can also decide the name of the child without the husband. Eve named Seth, Genesis 4:25. Leah and Rachel named their children, Genesis 29:32. Rachel named Benjamin before she died, Genesis 33, verse 19. Hannah named Samuel, first of Samuel chapter 1 as the story continues we see other moments in the Bible 
where women had equal status and had higher status. When Isaac prayed, so Rebecca be pregnant, women received a higher status because a man did his work praying to the Lord for her. Genesis 25, verse 21 through 23. In 22, we see that twins were jostling, and Rebecca asked the Lord, or inquired him, to tell him why. God talked to Rebecca, like Abraham and Sarah, and she received a higher status than even man. When Leah was pregnant, and Jacob did not love her, as much as Rachel. Genesis 29 verse 31 Where the Lord saw that Leah was not loved, he opened her womb. She had four children, and the fifth, she was going to praise the Lord and name it in honor of God. She named it Judah. Genesis chapter 30 verse 17 God listened to Leah wanted to become pregnant and gave Jacob. Here we see God listens to a woman. Also women participated in genealogies and in the sense of families. In Genesis 5 the genealogy starts with male and female and continues numerous times and is referred as sons and daughters. Genesis 46 verse 5 Then Jacob left Beersheba, and Israel's sons took their father, father Jacob, and their children, and their wives. Here we see that children, wives, and men, daughters, and sons are added. They are just that important. Genesis 46.15 these were the sons of Leah. Genesis 46.17 The sons of Asher Numbers 26.35 Solophite's daughters Numbers 26.46 Asher had a daughter, Sarah. And there are numerous references of daughters in first of chronicles in genealogies we see in those times women had power they served God and did the plan of God when they had higher status and of their father and Moses asked God what to do and God sided with the daughters of Selephite. Genesis chapter 31 verse 16 There Rachel and Leah talked about their property and received their property. They defended it. Deuteronomy 25 verse 5 to 10 the law of the sandal. And if a man dies and the wife has to be married to his brother, but the brother decides that he doesn't want to, 
The wife goes to the console and removes the slipper, slaps the brother, and she gets to keep the property. Something harsh, but a law that was made by God so women could have a higher status and be protected. Leviticus chapter 19 verse 20 through 22 If a man who slept with a woman who was a slave and she was not ransomed, she will not be put to death in either the man, but instead the man will bring a sheep and offer it as a sacrifice of guilt, and the council will do the procedure. This law here protected the woman Exodus chapter 21 verse 7 to 14 If man sells daughter and she serves in the seventh year she is said to be free Exodus 21 verse 2 to 3 If a daughter is sold she is said to be free Leviticus chapter 15 verse 19 if she had a period, she was not allowed to be touched, and she was protected by law. Leviticus 19 verse 29 Do not degrade your daughter. Numbers 5 verse 12 The Soto Law Or the River Law The woman accused of being unfaithful by a jealous husband was said to make a test. But in those times there was also another way around it where the man, if he wanted, there will be a chance that the woman goes a river and goes upstream and if she passes that test and goes through the river, she's absolved of all guilt, of all charges. Leviticus chapter 22 verse 12 A priest's daughter can return to live with his father if husband dies. Numbers chapter 30 verse 3 Woman makes vow, husband and dad dissolves them. Numbers chapter 30 verse 10 The same as before. Deuteronomy Chapter 22, verse 12, verse 18. Slaves and women is set free. Deuteronomy, chapter 22, verse 25 to 27. Death penalty for rape, protecting women. Deuteronomy, chapter 24, verse 5. Man not sent to war to stay with wife. Deuteronomy chapter 10 verse 17 Lawful widow defends them. As we see, God gave laws so women can be protected and gave laws for widows. Deuteronomy chapter 14 verse 28 Law for giving food for the widows and others. Deuteronomy chapter 16 verse 10 11 for festivities and wave offerings for women and man. Deuteronomy chapter 24 verse 70 don't deprive justice from the widow. Genesis 38 verse 26 Tamar was righteous than Judah. These are the laws that favor women above men. But what are laws that made them equal to men? Now we will explain the laws that made women and men equal to each other. Exodus chapter 20 verse 11 Keep thy Sabbath was also meant for women. Exodus 35 verse 22 Bring the wave offering like men. Exodus 35 verse 29 A free will offering also made women equal as men do the same. Exodus 
Exodus 38, verse 3. Women had religious services in the tabernacle. Leviticus 10, 14. The daughters can eat of the food of the priests, just like the sons. Deuteronomy chapter 12, verse 12 to 18, and Deuteronomy chapter 16, verse 11 to 14. Women were equal in feasts of celebration. Deuteronomy 29, verse 9. Women are part of the covenant of the law. In Exodus chapter 21, verse 26 to 31. Women and men, if damaged, being enslaved, the owner will be compensated. Deuteronomy chapter 15, verse 12. Women and men can be slaves equally. Exodus chapter 21, verse 2 to 4. You're a Hebrew slave. You're free at your seventh year.